What is going on, you absolute poker fanatics? Today, we're going to be going into a bloody EVV tin. EVV, oh, that, that sounds weird to say. But yeah, no, we're going to be opening up an EVV tin. That sounds better. There we go. We already did the bloody Pikachu. We already did the Eternatus V. Luck, not great. Really putting me off tins. And you know, I love me tinnies with the boys, but, uh, and girls, of course to all 1% that watches this channel. But yeah, no, let's just get into the goddamn tin. Right, it looks much better out of the plastic, doesn't it? Come on, Evie, I'm trusting you. I prefer you to Pikachu, so bring me some magic. Right, first things first, EVV, and yes, this is now actually my favorite promo card of the three. The Eternatus outbeat the Pikachu for me. Yes, I know that's controversial, and I do prefer EV to, uh, to Pikachu also, so, but this is, I'm, I'm, I just like the mix of colors here. You got the purple, you got the brown coming off the EV, and then you got the green here. It's a nice little mix. But yeah, nah, there's the code card, guys, so good luck to online TCG players. Nice. Darkness Ablaze, Darkness Ablaze, Sword and Shield, we know all that. Should we just, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna finish them both on Darkness Ablaze. Actually, what pack feels thick? Let's uh, let's give that a little test see. Ooh, Sword and Shield feels the thickest, although that's never served me too well. We're gonna go Sun and Moon, then Double Darkness Ablaze, and then bloody uh, Sword and Shield base. Code card. We've got Darkness Ablaze, we've got a Breon, we've got a Crocorock, who looks like you know some form of karate. We got a Pelipper, we got that thing, we got a Scared Sandcastle, we got Dratini, my boy, we got a Leyland Diglett, we got a Bounce Suite, we got a bloody Metapod, and on the end we got an even bigger Screaming Castle. Wow, what happened to First Pack Magic? It's absolutely gone to shit. Come on, Darkness Ablaze, mate, sort me out. Grim Snarl, I'll take you, I'll take Santa Scorch, and I'll take, obviously, the Big Fire Lizard himself. Code card. All right, Leaf Energy, Pref uh, bloody Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. We got a Fletchinda, spitting some fire right there. Hiding Energy, we got a bloody Cat. We got an Angry Hippopotamus, we got a Centret. We got a Lavesta. We got a uh, Morlol. We got a Snubble. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, right, 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 righty yo. We did, we struck gold, guys. I, I love gold. Jesus Christ, all right, let me get a sleeve for that quickly. Wow, the luck actually turned around. Look at that, all you had to do was moan and spend bloody nearly $50 on tins before this. Right, okay, the centering's not the greatest. A little bit top heavy and heavy on the right here. But hell yeah, I do love the gold cards, guys. There's just something about them, especially from the Sword and Shield era. Look at the color in that bad boy. Absolutely beautiful. And I love that that sort of it makes that stand out a little bit more. But sweet, guys, that's gonna, that's obviously the pull of the day. I don't think we're gonna beat that, are we? Darkness of Blaze. Go card. Right, Lightning Energy, Owl, Bird, Mr. Burns. I'm assuming, like, is it, am I the only one thinks that, that thing's got a uh, bloody rock melon on its head or a cantaloupe if you're in the uh, North America? It, it's bizarre. We've got a Trippin' Benelby. We've got a bloody Curious Ice Cream Cone. We've got a Gathita. It's not safe to be out at night like that. We've got a Nickit. We've got a Versal Soul Rock. And on the end, we've got a Volcra... Vol well, Corona on the end. Right, is that a... No, it's not even a reverse holy rare. Right, the only way this is going to get any better if we pull some more gold. Come on, bring me more gold. Code card. Lightning energy, evolutions, incense. Oh, wow, so there is incense outside of bloody Pokemon Go. Vitality band, really cool artwork. Haunter, I, I, I've yet to find a Haunter artwork I dislike. Same with Gengar and Gaxley. I'm just too biased there. We've got a Wooloo. We got a slightly agitated shelter. Fucking hell, he's gone. He's gone ultra instinct. That crow gun. Can you look at those fists? We got a little snake in the desert. We got a Mincino. We got a reverse holo Pokemon Center Lady. Brock would absolutely love this card. And on the end, we got a Corviknight non holo. That's a shame because I feel like that would look awesome in a holo. Bloody Batman looking bird. Right, cool. All right, so we pulled some gold. There we go. Right, oh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start filming these thousand sub videos because, uh, and I appreciate all the uh, all the suggestions in the last video, guys. So I'll take them all into consideration. Got a lot planned for the channel, guys. You have no idea, and I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Really excited, honestly. Um, this whole thousand sub thing was been. Uh, it's been. A, this little journey has been. It's been fun, um, but it's always been a milestone. Probably the biggest milestone of the channel. I always said if I ever start a channel, I'll get that thousand sub mark. I'd be absolutely buzzing. So yeah, nah. 
Appreciate all the support, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, just do it. Be a legend, you know? Join this little community of Pokemon card lovers, meme lovers, whatever you want to do. I know people come for the Pokemon cards, but they stay for the they stay for the epic dance, don't ya? You? you do. And for those that are in North America and probably parts of Asia and even Australia, banter is just like, you know, funny stuff, I guess. I'm just chatting too much shite. Anyways, guys, make sure you hit me up on Instagram at Super Smash Pokemon 64, you absolute legends. Um, but yeah, nah, guys, other than that, I hope you're all doing well no matter where you are in the world. But as always, take it easy. Peace out.